for doing a voiceover with PowerDirector 16. Um, I loaded a clip into the timeline and changed over to the voiceover recording room. You see now the settings of your input microphone, in my case a cable output a virtual device microphone. The device is a button. If you press the button, then you can choose your, uh, your um, inputs. In my case, I selected the cable output, but uh, I can select my microphone directly. And you have a button mixer. And by selecting that button, you change to the window settings of your inputs and outputs. The settings of the output and input must be the same. This case 16 bit 48,000 Hertz. And if I change to outputs, my speakers have the same settings. They must be the same settings, otherwise it will not work. You have some sliders that uh, you can change for adjusting the, um, the microphone um, volumes. They all correspondent to each other. You have the uh, 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 level output, uh, the levels from your microphone input, sorry. And uh, this is set to 20, this. You have a volume, uh, an input volume in the audio setup of PowerDirector 16, and you can change this slider, and you will see that the slider on uh, PowerDirector 16 will change corresponding to this slider. And of course, you can use the slider directly. You can choose a proof profile for your microphone. And there are the settings again that must correspond to the settings of your Windows settings for input and output. If not, it will not work. And you can set some preferences for the recording the voice over. And after all, you can record your voice over. Um, I recommend to uh, check this box to mute all tracks uh, so that uh, um, if you have the speakers uh, near your monitor, you will not record your uh, output of the video too. And then select the button record and you can do a voiceover. Try the voiceover for video. Try, Try the voice, the voice over, over for video. video.